we're in the next part now, so please go gauge your bearings in the previous part where I was uh, talking about the situation that's really caused me to be very bereft. I'm sick and tired of getting exploited and humiliated by people that realize that I'm really going through a lot and so I'm just going to treat her like she's nothing, like she's trash, even though I can tell that her content is worth a while to hear. There was a time when people on YouTube were listening to me. It's not like the audience, that the, the, the conglomerate of human beings that come to, to YouTube to watch videos are unreachable. It's not like people on YouTube are just these like dumbed down souls who are hypnotized and they've got spirals in their eyes and all they can watch are mukbangs. Do not humiliate the ability to ration and reason and desire information of a, a, a global conglomerate. Don't do it. It's just irresponsible to go and dumb down human beings and reduce them to the status of infants. It is not YouTube audience that are my problem. They don't want to see me anymore. They don't want to hear me. It's YouTube, the big, fat, chunky, tyrannical boss that has decided that I'm not going to be heard. It is TikTok. And this is what I have to say to that. If you are preventing, since I can't preach in Nineveh, n not Nineveh, but in Nazareth, which is South Africa, if you refuse that I should reach Americans, people from the Finnish, the Danish, if I can't reach the Nigerians and the, uh, and the Koreans, if I can't reach the... Uh, like Colombians and the Trinidad and Tobagans and the Jamaicans if for crying out loud I can't reach the people in Mauritius and in, in, in Mauritius if I can't get to even people in Botswana if I cannot get to people in Lesotho if I can't get to people in like Congo my goodness it's not I that have made a decision to not try and speak to the Nigerian guy it's YouTube that has said the Nigerian guy is going to go to hell Garabo because they did not hear the gospel that you would have preached. Literally the blood of the Nigerian dude and the blood of the Haitian girl is on YouTube's freaking hands. And I, for the life of me, cannot understand how such a platform as that can anticipate that they're safe in the hands of a holy God when they are blocking the unreached from listening and when they are blocking a prophet from speaking. How in the world you can be so pompous and so arrogant in this world of companies that rise and fall? How you can be so pompous as to imagine that if you offend and become an affront to human freedom that you will just continue to stand? I mean, how long did people fight slavery and eventually conquer it? For you to have that data, that knowledge, of how oppressive regimes have been brought low and for you to be that thing and think you're not ultimately going to go it's to be pompous arrogant handed over to that arrogance to that reprobate mind you literally have been made as youtube to believe that you can't be brought low just like the titanic and guess what i am your freaking iceberg you're gonna be humiliated youtube whether or not you're listening to me i suspect you are hence why you have censored me silenced me smothered me like thwarted my ministry i'm not the only one your iceberg that is going to sink your proverbial titanic are the body of christ because insofar as your platform is no longer preaching the gospel with the oomph and the girth that it is preaching and also insofar as people who are speaking that which is worthy of praise that is lovely just commendable and excellent insofar as they can't continue you're just some worthless blob on the earth that is no longer worth the while for god to continue to grow as a concern anything god is jehovah jireh god is our provider he is the one that gives companies shares that skyrocket in the stock market he is the one that makes sure that a ceo is successful in the strategy that he uses to roll out a particular um agenda on the ground whether or not the ceo knows god know and understand that the lord thrived or prospered egypt in the days of joseph for the sake of joseph and all of his people israel joe egypt was in and of itself a pagan nation that did not turn its heart over to god but because they embraced joseph they became the wealthiest, most successful and opulent country in the world and the only one that had water and food during a drought. So the proliferation of companies that are run by unsaved CEOs is not because these people are really good at what they do. It is because what they are running as an organization is beneficial for the general purpose of God. And so he is thriving, that organization. So YouTube, as evil as you might be as a conglomerate with your wicked executive suit and your liberal agenda that is silencing everybody if they don't agree with what you have to say, know and understand that in your wickedness you would have been thrived anyway. You can continue to worship your pagan gods. You can continue with your sorcery, your harlotry. You can continue to pontificate mukbangs on your channel and speak about how abortion is excellent. You can do whatever you want, but 
if you are alongside doing those seedy things, letting the church just do what they want to do, God will leave you alone. But the moment all that people can say is abortion is, con- is kosher and the LGBTQIA agenda ought to be proliferated, the moment eating 20,000 eggs is all that you're pushing as entertainment on YouTube, the moment anyone at all with a voice that is different from yours continues to get smothered on that day, YouTube, God will have nothing to do with you anymore because you are no longer pushing his concern. God cares for his name and that's what he is literally proliferating across the earth. And any structure that does not want to proliferate his name just simply gets closed. Just like, just like that, closed. Like just closed. Because God is gathering for himself a people for his own possession. And so if at all, nobody is coming to listen a sigh of Jesus as he chills in a boat giving the gospel. I don't know. Corazan, that say that much? Dust my feet off much? I'm getting out because it's pointless and worthless for me to be here. You are a dog and you are a pig and I'm casting my pearls to you. Constantly uploading content on YouTube is indeed like casting my pearls to pigs and giving what is sacred to dogs because the audience that ought to listen to me is not listening to me because they have been blinded from hearing me. The only people listening to me are those fools at YouTube that have seen it fit to make sure that I go nowhere with my shorts. I go nowhere with my long form content despite I being so informative. You're gonna be humiliated in the long run and no, not just for Garabo but for every last Garabo that you have decided to do this to. You don't get to block the gospel and just be okay you literally don't get to do that so woe to you Bethsaida and Chorazan for you have heard the words of Christ you have heard the man of peace speaking to his disciples and yet you rejected him it'll be a better day on the day of judgment for Solomon and Gomorrah and for Sidon and Ty than it will be for you YouTube it's over if you do not remove your grubby paws off my chest know and understand that sooner rather than later your proverbial titanic is about to be bashed with the proverbial icebergs that are Christians online that have been lamenting languishing groaning and moaning to God on some but why have they shadow banned me why did they even bring down my fitness channel they don't want me making money I want to be fruitful and multiply I want to go have babies but I can't do it I want to do God I just want to live I'm not the only one crying I just so happen to be quite vocal in my own mourning but I'm not the only one and God God will not turn his face away from he who or she who turns to him. The Lord is close to the broken hearted. He also does not delight in the one who has got a war horse and some swords. No, he delights in the man or woman who fears him. And that's what I am. And according to God, I am planted by streams of water and I yield my fruit in my season. And so if it appears that I am unfruitful, you are on that day rolling around a travesty that you hope God is just going to turn a blind eye to. You're naive. You're entirely naive. I am exhausted with working with no regard for my content. And so I decided that I'm going to just start uploading content nowhere, nowhere else, but in my website. The website of which, before me buying a domain, I wouldn't have been able to upload videos on there. I would have to embed them from YouTube. I would have to embed my videos from YouTube. So this platform that does not want me getting heard is the only one that through WordPress I could share my videos. Well, what did God do then on that day? He gave me money so I could get a domain, buy a premium like WordPress account, fix it up, use it up. And so now there is a possibility for me to upload videos that I can speak all different kinds of what you call heresies and taboo utterings without WordPress making a decision in this premium account slashing it away cutting me away without me being smothered and being told that I am this like naysayer that is spreading all different kinds of gangrenous lies to the earth I have got a website you silly buffoons I have a website literally Nina Nina I have a website but I am unable to upload on my website as frequently as I would love to and so grow my followership. I don't have that many subscribers on my website. I think I just have about 500. But I could grow and prolifically fast if I just uploaded on there as frequently as I upload on YouTube. I am busy using YouTube because it is the pl- the most perused platform for videos that exists out there. And I also do not have national infrastructure. This country, in other words. I don't have national infrastructure, do you understand? To enable me to be the writer that I am that can also upload videos with my writing. Next part.